I bring you guys the first empties of 2023. So I'm going to be showing you guys things that I actually used up, all right? All right, let's get this video started right away. Let's go. So for this empties, actually, I recently just came back from a family vacation in Hawaii, which was so great. I also went to uh, congratulate Leah on our wedding as well. But anyways, most of these products that you'll be seeing are products that I use up there because I went... I went hard. I went, oh my god, I went all out with skincare there. I was like, my skin needed so much calming, hydration, SPF. So, yeah. First off, let's start off with, of course, of course, the So Good Feels Like Toner Pad. Guys, if you guys didn't know, this is the product that I made. Um, this is basically a toner pad that has 83% of cabbage leaf water, along with other great calming ingredients such as centella, green tea, aloe, cucumber, all the other ingredients that you all want. And the cotton pad is a very, very high quality. It is thick, it is just drenched. Oh, sorry, this is the one that I'm using right now. This is the empties. It's drenched and I make sure that the cotton pad was pickled in the essence so that it doesn't feel rough. Okay, that's a major issue I have, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, my necklace isn't showing. I'm making an effort to like really wear my jewelry because otherwise it's just like waste. Very hydrating and it's, it's almost been a like two years guys this i released this last may so we're approaching second anniversary second birthday and i'm so happy that i'm still getting all of these great comments dm saying how great my toner pad is and so um the photographer who, who took these amazing shots for the launch she dm'd me recently very recently i think last week she's like by the way your toner pads are really really good she's like they're the best they're the bomb and i was like oh it's so nice of you to say and like my sister this morning she was like just casually doing her skincare and she was a she was just like by the way your toner pads are really really good and i'm just like oh that's so sweet like things like my sister she's my family she doesn't have to say that right but yeah i'm just like it's just this took a lot of work like seriously this i think aged me by like 10 years <laughs> because i i did everything by myself and i know i'm going on a tangent but it's so rewarding to see all of your comments great positive reactions comments of how great you guys are enjoying this are finding this so thank you guys i Swear you guys won't regret it if you guys haven't tried it out. Make sure it's all on. You can find this on most platforms: Yes Style, Wish Trend, Um, Credit Think, Amazon, and uh, Star Korean. So yeah, make sure to check it. Check, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh yes, by the way, so I took this to Hawaii. <laughs> the main point: I took this to Hawaii, and originally my toner pads, I originally didn't intend it to make it where you will wear it as a sheet mask, you use it as a sheet mask where you just place it on top. But so many of you guys, including Yunya Ni, love using this that way, like a sheet mask. And so from last summer, I started doing that, and I have no regrets. I don't know what I was thinking, not doing that earlier. But if you live somewhere hot and humid, or you're going on a vacation, or you have really kind of irritated skin. Just plop these on and you're good to go it feels like heaven okay i know i make this but it's so good it's really good guys i i promise you won't regret you guys know i empty one of these out like every single month it's like given okay guys next up we have an spf curl because girl i went all out with spf i made sure oh my gosh i thought there was something else like that with it i made sure that i was hella well protected and this is the best sunscreen that just did it right for me this is the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch now this is a new one because i bought a backup in hawaii while i was there because i finished my original one anyways um yeah this is basically a chemical or organic SPF, I know, which is very surprising. And I'll get to that later. It has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octoquilin. So it has all of these great UV filters. So by definition, it's a chemical SPF, but the uh, I can't say the same thing for the formulation. The formulation feels like a physical or an organic SPF. It's like one of those stiff, not nice, kind of pasty, leaves on white cost and it blends out all right it's not bad but like compared to like the other great k-beauty chemicals we have up there this doesn't even come close and so i actually did a review on this um a while back ago and i told you guys if you watch it you know i told you guys i have a love and hate relationship with this because i hate it because i don't like the formulation at all you know it's a pasty white cost blah 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 Ugh. but i love it because these are perfect for outdoor activities and this is 80 minutes water resistant hallelujah you rarely get that 
with the chemical nice formulated SPFs anyways. So this is just perfect when you're swimming out in the pool, swimming out on the beach, you're golfing out of the hot sun, which were all of the activities that I did. And so I made sure that I protected myself properly. Protection is important, especially against the sun. Um, I made sure my whole family used this. And like I brought so many SPFs just to try out and I felt like this was the only SPF that cut it. Like all of the other SPFs that I would usually wear, they seem too weak for their strong Hawaiian sun. And so I felt like the other formulations, they didn't really protect my skin right, but I feel like this one was... It saved our lives, it saved our skin. Alrighty, the next product is the Tatcha, the Silk Sunscreen Hydrating Mineral, the, the, what? Mineral Shield. First, I know, I know guys, okay, calm down. I know you guys have beef with this product. <laughs> so many of you guys are angry and mad for a valid reason. And it's because this is so pricey. This is a sample size, by the way. It's the sample size that I used up. And so many of you guys are so angry because the proper size, the big size, which I bought, I, I have, it's, it's on the room. I'll bring it later. But um, yeah, I bought it and it was like $60. And I was just like, damn, I bought it while I was in Hawaii and Sephora. And I was like, damn, that's expensive. Like hearing its price and actually spending money to buy are very different things, I realized. Because when I was paying, I was like, hold up. That's pretty expensive, okay? I'm not used to paying that much for an SPF. But I still got it nonetheless because I absolutely love the formulation. All right, so let's get into the details. This is, it has 10% zinc oxide, so this is actually a physical or an inorganic SPF, which blew my mind because this does not feel like one. Okay, so when you take it out, oh my gosh, this is like just pure magic. This is, feels runny, but once you spread it out, it's like, it feels like a silky primer and it's not too dewy, it's not hydrated, nor is it too matte. And it just leaves you with like this airless finish and it's like barely there, you can feel it barely there. Which did work against me because when I'm outside and I'm like directly getting hit by the sun, I need to know that my SPF's there, I need to see it, I need to feel it. And so for this one I was like, it's not there. <laughs> So I, this is a hundred percent psychological thing. I'm sure it's there, but I'm just I need to see my SPF when I'm like out on the beach and I'm just like getting just torched by the sun. So and that's why I opted for this when I was outside because you can see this, right? It's great for a normal like daily usage when you have like makeup on or you're putting on makeup on top or you know, you're just going out to work or just going out to the park, whatever, whatever, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, so what am, what am I talking about? Where am I going with this? So, so the finish is very, very breathless. Breathless? It is very airless. And the formulation has a nice peachy, kind of pinkish, coralish hue to it that just worked perfectly for my Hawaiian tanned skin. Yes, I am very, very tanned right now. I am like number 23 in terms of like the color shade in Korea. And this was just perfect for everyday use. I know you guys all, all hate it and I am, am there with you. It is pricey. So if it's like $60 in Korea, it's like chinmana. That's pricier than most like high-end like Lancome Dior sunscreens. So I'm a little mad too, but I... <laughs> The formulation is so beautiful, right? You can't deny that. You can't take that away from Tatcha. Oh my gosh. The next product saved my skin's ass once again. This was a delight to use. I don't have one with me. I don't have a physical one with me because I used it all up. But it's the Abib Collagen Sheet Mask. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I feel like I should make a song about it. Except for the fact that it's a little pricey. Yeah, I'm gonna take points away from that. But anyways, um, this is a beautiful Hydrogel Sheet Mask. And these are honestly my favorite types because the material won't irritate or aggravate or create rashes. I'm sorry, I'm a little off at the center. Um, for my skin, you guys know I have contact dermatitis, so usually like paper materials, sometimes not all, create rashes. They feel itchy, it feels irritating. So hydrogels are like my safe bet. It's like, I'm okay to go, my skin's chill with it, I love it, it feels so calming, so cooling, so hydrating. And so this Hydrogel just hit the spot for me. This Hydrogel she must actually was recommended by Yuni Yuni. Uh, she was like, yeah, it's been working great. So I was like, let me check it out, let me check her out. And I'm so glad that I did because it was everything that my skin needed at the end of a long day, being out in the sun, just being in the salty water, <laughs> just 
I mean, I was living live, but I don't know. I'm not sure if my skin liked that, you know? So I uh, just felt like a great relief. Uh, I'll put in like a video here and you can definitely, obviously, evidently see that my skin is super irritated. Damn, the sun is fuerte in Hawaii, okay? The sun's different there. <laughs> and I've gotten questions on my TikTok. P.S. Follow me on TikTok. I reached 30k! Woo! Ooh. Anyway, someone was asking me on TikTok, isn't it like slippery? It doesn't doesn't slip down, and surprisingly, it doesn't. So I there are a bunch of times where I just plopped it on, and I just works on my computer, and it's fine. It doesn't like go anywhere. So huge points for that because that does sometimes happen, especially like I've noticed with like eye masks as well. You know those ones made out of hydrogel. And the great thing about these hydrogel masks, I feel like they're like. They have, you know, they're kind of similar to modeling masks, but they're better because they're convenient. You don't have to like prepare and go through the whole process of making it and mixing it. There's not much trouble in putting them onto your face. So I feel like that's great. The downside is that obviously it's presse. Uh, but I saw that it's on sale on at Olive Young Global, so make sure to check it out. P.S. How many of you guys actually shop at Olive Young Global? I know so many, a lot of you guys like shopping at Yes Style, Salvana, but I just want to, I'm just curious, okay? This is just for my personal interest. Let me know, okay? And also, this product has sedum jelly in it, which is basically a special plant that grows in Jeju, and it's, and it's, it's able to retain so much moisture that it's able to grow on dry rocks, etc. So they put that in, extracted it as very high hyaluronic acid content. And they also have vitamin C in it. So it has a lot of actually great ingredients in it whilst giving you that cooling, calming sensation. So I highly recommend you guys to check it out. All right, next up I have here is the Vita Sika Cream. I actually emptied out the Sika skin as well, but I threw that out in Hawaii because I didn't want to travel with trash it's like not necessary but yeah this is part of the vt travel kit which is also in our unisu box that we did last year and guys i'm telling you these are so handy and they're actually great quality especially if you're traveling somewhere hot humid you name it and i know it's like a travel size and you may be like oh travel size what's the big deal Hold up, girl, okay? I'm gonna correct you right there. I'm gonna humble you. Try it out when you're like on a vacation. It's like really good. Like the quality is really good and the amount is like, it's pretty, there's a lot. This is 20 mil, which is bigger than the 15 mil of this Tatcha sunscreen, okay? So, um, uh, and the Sika skin is so beautiful. I did three layers of that uh, prior to leaving, uh, coming back to Korea because I had a long ass flight. It was a 10 hour flight. So I wanted to make sure that I my skin was like prepped because I don't like doing in-flight skincare. It's just, it just gets too hectic and like the air is recycled. It's just a hazard. I'd rather just make sure to do a good job in doing my skincare properly before going on the flight. And so I did three layers of that skin and it made my skincare last really long and my skin looks so hydrated plump it was beautiful must i say and i feel like it's hard to do multiple layers with other skincare categories like serum creams because obviously because of the thicker formulation the viscosity the gel like uh, formulation it's going to pile up and cause lotion burgers whereas skin or essences it's like just it's very watery so you don't have to have that concern but yet you can still get that really nice hydration the secret cream is awesome as well it's a, it's got a gel consistency oh i have i do have a bit of left and what I love about this is that it absorbs immediately. Some gel products, their consistency, like kind of like, it feels like they're just like um, not getting absorbed in and it's like dwelling on top. This one, uh-uh. You don't get none of that crap. Um, so this is a beautiful cream to check out as well. So I really, really enjoyed using the travel kit. All right, last but not least for the empties, I do have the B-Pling Cigatero Ample. Yes, out of all of the calming serums I could have taken, I chose this one. I choose you! <laughs> um, just because, oh, this was also in the Unisa box last year, so I know this is good. I love, B-Pling has really, really great affordable calming products that's great for sensitive skin by the way this has sika and phytosterol extracted from sika that has great calming properties i'm sorry i have hair and this also has lha in it uh so you can get a little bit of gentle exfoliation at the same time which is great and this was just such a yummy apple serum to use in Hawaii, my hand just kept uh, reaching out for it and it was so delectably hydrating moist and nice just perfect um the formulation isn't too runny but the finish is very light so it kind of just spreads out 
and just gets absorbed in right away. It absorbs instantly and it calms the skin down. It, I wouldn't say this is like incredibly hydrating where it leaves your skin glowy, but it just does the job. It just soaks in just right. Nothing too over the top, nothing underwhelming either. Um, so this was a great serum to use. I have, I, I would recommend this to everyone who needs a hydrating and calming serum where your skin's kind of like irritated this one is a great one to check out so yeah okay last but not least okay yeah this is the last but not least but this is throwaways okay these two products i threw away specifically i didn't finish it but i i threw away because i didn't see myself using them at all and this is the um neutrogena ultra sheer body mist and the beach defense water spray size green spray i didn't remember its name i bought these two in hawaii abc mart thinking oh my gosh genius i need sunscreen sprays because i was spending a lot of time applying the sunscreen <laughs> this sunscreen onto my body i was like this is this is taking a lot of time okay i want to jump in the beach already and so it was like genius i'll just spray it boom 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 and i'll be done in a sec mama was i wrong <laughs> these sprays are such a hazard to use okay so if you guys have experience then you know but like okay first it gets everywhere it, meaning that Especially when you're in a beach where you have other people there present What happens is the spray kind of gets blown away by the wind and it like goes to other people and while the smell isn't like Poo-poo or anything. It smells so chemical And so it's like not a scent that I would want other people to smell especially if it's not for them because don't want them. It's just so so much like pee it So what I have to do is I have to go to a corner and apply it make sure no one is around me because I don't want anyone inhaling it because I've Supposedly, you're not supposed to inhale this and that's why you are not allowed to spray this on your face Which is like oh, you're just giving me extra work So I have to use another SPF on my face what I ended up doing and what they proposed was Applying the spray onto my hand and then applying to my face, which is Just the way I ended up doing for the entirety of my body because I didn't want to spray and like 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 disturb other people So I just that's what I ended up doing. I sprayed everything on my hand and just dabbed it all over and that was just it just took me extra time than using a regular SPF so I was just like this is just this is nonsense okay this was such a total waste of money and I feel like I sh like the chemical like the spray I feel like it's really really bad for my body I like the, it says don't inhale it so I'm guessing there are chemicals in there that's really bad for my lung system so it was just a total fail was not convenient did not take less time, just waste the money, okay? And also, once you spray it, you have to blend it anyways, so it's like defeats the purpose of having a spray. Like, what's the point if I have to go in and blend it? I'm very angry, as you can see, evidently. I was not happy, so I just threw it away, and I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to carry sprays on your, like, luggage. But anyways, I, I wasn't even, like, I wasn't even sad. I was like, adios, sayonara, okay? Never see you, never. All right, guys, that's it for the first empties of 2023. You know what, guys? I am so happy when I empty out a product, just because I have so many. And also, one thing is that I go through products so fast because I have a bigger face and I'm really happy about that So I get to use more products. But anyways, all right guys. I don't know. That was so random. Okay uh, That's it for today's video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next Ciao